Liberty and Kent State kick off the 2013 college football season Thursday. The Flames coming off their fifth Big South title last season, while the Golden Flashes won a school record 11 games and earned a bid to the GoDaddy.com Bowl. Liberty won the coin toss and deferred to the second half, giving Kent State the football first. Colin Reardon making his first career start, marches the Golden Flashes 75 yards on their first drive. Reardon caps it off with a touchdown pass to Casey Pierce as Kent State takes an early 7-0 lead midway through the first quarter. The Liberty defense stiffens in the second quarter. Reardon careless with the football, fumbles, and Jacob Hagen recovers, giving the Flames great field position. Liberty would capitalize on the Golden Flash's miscue. John Lunsford boots a 20-yard field goal as the Flames cut into the lead 7-3 with 2.55 left to play in the first half. The Flames and Flashes traded punts to start the third quarter. Josh Woodard put an emphasis on stretching the field this season with his arm and does just that to Petey Peterson for 58 yards. That play would key an 88-yard drive as Woodrum finds Gabe Henderson in the corner of the end zone and Liberty takes his first lead 10-7 midway through the third quarter. An Anthony Melchiori field goal would tie the game at 10 and it would remain knotted up until late in the fourth quarter when Colin Reardon hooks up with Chris Humphrey for a 42-yard pitch and catch touchdown, putting Kent State up 17-10. Liberty would get one more crack at it under three minutes to play from the Kent State 40. On fourth down, Woodrum's pass eludes the fingertips of Peterson, and Kent State holds on to win 17-10. Josh Woodrum threw the air 14 of 22 for 189 yards. Darren Peterson caught five balls for a buck of six. Defensively in his first start, Aaron Dial led the Flames with eight tackles. Liberty will open up their seven-game home schedule next Saturday against Monmouth, while Kent State will host Bowling Green in its MAC opener. We've been putting in so much work this past camp. Just our, our focus has been on beating Kent. And athletic-wise, I know we could have. Like, uh, they have they have a great team. Don't get me wrong, but we had some of the best athletes on our team. A bunch of guys are uh, getting looked at to go to the NFL and stuff. So I know matchup-wise, it wasn't an issue. We just we had to finish plays, and uh, unfortunately, we came up short. But I know it's nothing that we can't correct. And it, we got we got two of the best corners, the best D line in the in the nation as as far as I feel. So I definitely feel that we'll come back and, and be strong. And again, I think our football team showed a lot of depth. We played quite a few players, particularly on the defensive side. And I think that there we're going to be a good football team as we move forward. But we got to learn from this, and we got to jump out to a good start. So that's the one thing last year we got to improve on offensively. First quarter was not a very good quarter for us, and so we still kind of trended that again today, and we got to get that corrected.